I'm Ross McDonald from Case IH and I'm very pleased today to be with our new 2021 long wheelbase Puma. Now when we think of Puma we think of a solid dependable workhorse, a tractor that just gets the job done. It's very versatile and at 270 max horsepower it definitely packs a punch as well. It's full of options, very easy to operate and as for technology we have lots on board. It ticks all the boxes to be a main tractor on any arable farm and certainly would play a key part for many agricultural contractors. As with all Case IH machines, we've worked on this model from the ground up, talking with farmers to make sure that we're meeting their needs out there on the farm. One of the highest priorities we have is uptime and that is maximising the amount of work that our tractor will do in the field, on the road, we want to be getting the most out of uh, the investment for the customer. Connectivity wise, we've plugged the tractor sensors into the internet essentially, so that we can keep an eye on any possible fault codes or anything in the background that may potentially be an issue so that our uh, uptime engineers who are monitoring this 24 hours a day can get in touch with the customer, local dealer, to make sure that problems don't become problems. A couple of topics to cover first, that being engine and transmission. Our engine is a FPT, as with all of our Case IH products, and is a six cylinder, 6.7 litre common rail diesel injection engine. It has a service interval of 750 hours. We have a 400 litre fuel tank here, and we've also got 50 litres for the AdBlue. Now we have two types of transmission available in our long wheelbase Puma. That is the multi-controller version, which has a full power shift, 19 by six. And we also have our continuously variable transmission, this, the CVX drive. Now, in the CVX drive, we've got four models, 185, 200, 220, and also the range topping 240 model which has a max horsepower of 271. In our multi-controller range, we drop the 240 model out of there, leaving us with the 185, 200 and 220. So we've just come round to the side of the tractor and we're gonna highlight a few of our improvements on the 2021 Puma. We're gonna start with the steps going up into the cab. We've brought them much squarer, we're wider, and we've got nice, deep, serrated foot pads on here to ensure a nice, safe uh, entrance into the cab. What we also have beside me here is an eight liter water tank designed for washing hands. So we can fill it up with water, soapy water, whatever we want. Um, and if we have been greasing up a machine dusting down the windows, whatever it might be, we've got a bit of fresh water here that we can wash our hands uh, before we get back into the cab. If we move up a little bit further, you'll see here we have an air outlet um, so we can plug in our portable gun, blow out our radiators, fan, etc. keep everything nice and clean. Next to this air outlet, we have the battery isolator switch. So if we come out of the cab, press and hold this, we will cut the power to the tractor. Moving up a little bit further, we've got our side lights and indicator. These are now LED, um, extremely bright, extremely powerful. And finally at the top, when we open our door, we have ingress lighting, which lights up these steps again at night, making sure that we can enter and exit the vehicle safely. So around to the rear of the 2021 Puma range, and we've got a few little improvements around here. We've repositioned the top link. We've also got a nice handy indicator on the side here, so we know where we are. Um, we've also got, not on this model, but we have ladder hitch with some options on there 
for customers who are bringing in European implements, sprayers, etc. So we can have the K80 ball, the French Piton, etc. With our link arms, we have got a lift capacity of around 10,500 kilograms. Um, and as you can see on here, this has got five rear remote valves, handily color coded to match the levers on the armrest in the cab. And we also have our power beyond ports, pneumatic air brakes, and then we have our ABS, Isobus, seven pin sockets, etc. You can also see around the rear here, we have our Caesar data tag, which is also an option from the factory. So we're going to talk lights. And from our factory, we have three different options. Now, what I have with me here is our top option, the uh, full 360 degree lighting pack. And that offers us 20 LED lights with 2,240 lumen each, really turning night into day. Now on the rear, we have six LEDs in the roof. We then have a further two on the C-pillar at the top of the fender. In the front, we have four on the roof, and then you can have two on each grab rail on the, uh, on the center of the cab. Then we come to the front, and we have three on either side of our headlights, along with our daytime running signature lights. Additionally, when you take the front linkage option, you get the high mount headlights, again, which sit on our uh, belt slash uh, grab rail bar in the center. Um, and also on that we have our new LED side lights, indicators, um, which also accompany our new LED flashing beacons. So we're going to have a look at our operator environment. And again, we have made a few more additions and improvements in our cab. So first things first, we'll talk about the seats. We have a fabric dual motion seat. Dual motion is the headrest behind me, which can slide round horizontally, allowing you to look out the back window with ease. And we also have that in leather, as I have here, fully heated and ventilated. And then the top seat we have is our Maximo Evo, which looks at the operator's weight and makes the adjustments on the go. We also have uh, another new feature right in front of the operator, and that is the cool box that is on the front here. So we can get a couple of bottles of drink in there. Um, and side by side with that, we now also offer a new low mount windscreen wiper. This is around about 60% more coverage than our old Puma long wheelbase model where we had it at the top, offering around about 240 degree of wipe. We also have our new indicator stock on here, which controls the wiper, but also the indicators um, with new self-canceling technology, much, much similar to what we are offering in the car industry these days. Um, around to my right, we still have the multi-controller armrest. It's a firm favorite, color-coded rear remote valve paddles on here. All of our uh, engine speeds, diff lock, four-wheel drive, ride suspension, front and rear uh, lift, hydraulic controls, everything to hand. And our CVX drive, multi-controller handle, which again, very, very controllable with our transmission. Another new point we've got up here in the top right, we have a new baler bar, as we call it, um, which has a couple of USB sockets on there. It also now has a phone mount on there, a RAM mount, and there's also the option to have a tablet mount come on here as well. So for those implements that are perhaps using an iPad, for example, for controlling the implement, it's nice and easy to get things exactly where they are with USB power to them. We have full climate control in here. We have Bluetooth radio. We have heated electric adjustable mirrors. Um, and of course, all of our lighting options 
are all up in the right hand side very easy to hand for the operator we've also got our high visibility roof with the closing flap on there which really brings a lot more light into the cab making it feel that bit more spacious having a look at the front end of our 2021 Puma we have on this model here our front linkage and PTO it is a thousand speed PTO electric wet clutch multi-disc six signs spline shaft on there and our front linkage um, obviously depending on uh, the position of the top link and depending on the weight from the front of the tractor the front linkage is capable of lifting anywhere between 3.7 and 5.2 tons we've also got our front services here we've got a set of front couplers here um, and our power sockets and we also have the blanking plates here to put on a second set of couplers free flow return valve and a front isobus plug if required whilst we're also at the front just like to point out the new hood camera that we have mounted here now this is viewed on our pro 700 display in the cab and the camera makes attaching onto implements that little bit easier and also because it's a 180 degree view coming up to junctions and seeing out the front also makes it an added safety feature <laughs>